Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the part 3 in session 8. So let us quickly see how we can use the uh, Groovy script for getting the choice for extended choice parameters in Jenkins parameterized jobs. Okay, so here we have two options. Uh, we can use the Groovy script and you can use the Groovy script file. Okay, so better to use a uh, Groovy script file always because uh, you just need to update the file and uh, that file you can use in the multiple Jenkins jobs. Okay, so once you update that file, okay, that single uh, Groovy script file, then all the changes whatever you have done will be updated in all the Jenkins jobs okay so you don't need to uh, go to every Jenkins job and update everything okay so let us see both the options now so this is one of the uh, Jenkins parameter jobs uh, we have created in the previous sessions so there we have seen how we can use the uh, extended choice parameters and for getting the choice values uh, we have uh, seen how we can get from the values option and from the properties file option okay so similar kind of job we need to create and same options we want okay but only these options we need to get from the groovy script from uh, for the extended choice parameters so let us create a new job in this folder let's say qa11 so we need to make this uh, job as a parameterized project okay so this project is parameterized so from this drop down i will select extended choice parameter so let's say test cases select the basic parameter types okay so from this drop down i can select multi select or check box as well setting delimiter is my options will be separated by the comma so now we need to uh, choose the source for values okay so we have already seen these two options right in the previous sessions so now let us see about the groovy script okay so select that option so here uh, you just need to add the return statement return one array okay so in this array you just need to add the values in the single quote separated by the comma okay so we are giving the values for the extended choice parameter okay this is the name test cases so i will give the test cases name in the array here let's say first option is none okay so i am returning this uh, 5 to 6 values for the extended choice parameter with this test case name okay and that option will be multi selectable okay so this is the simple uh, groovy script you just need to return these values okay so just need to click on apply and save okay so when you first time uh, build this project uh, it will ask you to approve the groovy script changes whatever you have done in the uh, jenkins jobs okay so you just need to provide the approval so we'll click on this okay so you need to approve these changes okay so this is the guru script changes that we have done so you just need to approve it okay so once approved you just need to refresh the page and you will find that our extended choice parameter test cases and for that options we got this none test one to test five you can select multiple uh, options here okay so you can select the test cases to run on different browser different servers okay so this is how you can use the guru script okay very easy so if you are using uh, the guru script in the multiple jenkins jobs so let's say in my uh, this folder we have multiple jenkins jobs right so in every jenkins jobs i will have to configure the same okay so i will have to go to each and every jenkins jobs and add the uh, groovy script like this Okay, so you just need to copy this script and add in all Jenkins jobs okay but when we need to update any option or when we need to delete or add any other value in the uh, extended choice parameter values then you need to add or update the script in every Jenkins jobs okay it will take uh, much more time okay so instead of that you can use this option groovy script file okay so now let's see how we can use this option so here you just need to provide the location of the groovy script file so first you need to create the groovy script file add the same script in that file and give the location here okay and same you know uh, you can configure for each and every jenkins jobs 
so in case you need to add or uh, remove any option from the uh, external choice parameters then you just need to update that groove script file okay and all the changes will be replicated in all the jenkins jobs automatically okay so that we will see so first let us go and create the groove script file so for creating the groove script file just open the visual studio code go to the file and create a new text file okay so we need to save uh, save this file as a groove script so i will give some name here let's say groovy script and select the groovy option from the type okay this one and save it so here you just need to write the same uh, script here okay so i will just simply copy this script add it here okay and save that file so now you just need to give the location of this file where it is available on your system so this file is available in this folder so i will copy the path okay and here just add that path remove the double quotes okay and click on apply and save so jenkin will read that guru script file and it will automatically fetch the options whatever we have added in that guru script okay so again you can see we have got these changes right so these options are coming from the guru script file okay so if i add or remove any option from this let's say i added one more test in the single quote test 6 okay and save it so once i refresh this jenkins jobs again you will have to provide the approval because we have done the changes approve it refresh it okay so now you can see the changes automatically get reflected in our jenkins jobs okay so same configuration you can do for all the multiple jenkins jobs okay so whatever changes you will do in this uh, group script file okay all those changes will be done or reflected in the, all the jenkins jobs automatically so you don't require to go to uh, every jenkins job manually and update everything okay so instead of using the groovy script uh, for configuring the jenkins job you can use the groovy script file option right it is similar to our properties file right so there are many advantages with this approach okay so we have seen uh, how we can use the extended choice parameters its use uh, how it is helpful than the choice parameters right you can select the multiple values you can have different uh, options to sh uh, show the parameter values also okay you can select the uh, checkbox also if i select the checkbox you will get the checkbox to select right so instead of uh, using the choice parameter when you are a requirement that you need to uh, select the parameter values okay one or more uh, parameter values at a time then you can use the extended choice parameters okay and for configuring the values for those you have different options okay so you can have source for values to get the values directly or you can use the property file okay you can use the groove script and groove script file okay so all the four options i have covered uh, in this session eight right so in upcoming sessions uh, we will see uh, some more important jenkins parameters uh, in detail so let me know uh, if you have any question on this thank you